Well, gay-friendly businesses are expecting a boost in business next year when the state's new civil union law kicks in. KITV Force Catherine Catherine Cruz traveled to Maui and gives us a snapshot on how gay-owned and operated companies are preparing for the rush. The rainbow flag flies over the Maui Sunseeker. It's billed as a Kehi resort. The gay-owned and operated mini retreat has only 17 rooms, but is poised to expand to 30 with an added day spa. The timing couldn't be any better for us. Um, our occupancy is really up right now. So while the Sunseeker initially started as a gay-friendly business, it's thinking about changing its marketing strategy. It will focus its efforts as a destination getaway linked to gay-friendly or gay-owned and operated tours and attractions. And part of our, our issue is making sure that our guests um, are not ridiculed because of their, their orientation to make sure that they're comfortable and, and that they're safe. This gay couple from Mississippi has been together for 11 years and was winding up their stay at the Sunseeker following a commitment ceremony on the beach. They say the constitutional ban on gay marriages in their state made a getaway to Hawaii an easy decision, particularly with the civil union news. Maui, Hawaii is, is the place and the law just made it that much better. Didn't want any problems or any questions to arise. We wanted to come to a place where we knew we could just be ourselves. Gay Weddings Hawaii helped to make the wedding on the beach happen. The company says it's helped to arrange 4,000 gay and straight weddings since it started 17 years ago. The news is out. People are coming now to get married, and we have a lot of reservations and bookings for next year. The couple behind Gay Hawaii Weddings started the business when they decided to get married, but had difficulty finding gay-friendly establishments. The company quickly filled a void. We had uh, pilots from London, we had guys come over from China, um, women from Italy, all over the world. Robello says the aloha spirit and the message that the civil union's law sends, ikomo mai, all are welcome, was underscored when the Mississippi couple ended up at the hospital for a foot injury. They were treated like a couple, like as if they were married. And they said they would never, ever have been treated this way in their hometown in Jackson, Mississippi. So this spirit of aloha, this openness, this accepting of gay and lesbians is much appreciated by people that come here. So, and even as word gets out, I mean, so many more people will come here knowing that they're being accepted and just treated normally. We'll be back uh, to celebrate our first anniversary um, and hopefully every year thereafter. Um, this has just been a wonderful experience. The civil union's passage will prompt a personal celebration for the Sunseekers manager and his partner of 37 years and six other couples now contemplating a group wedding in the new year. Reporting from Maui, Catherine Cruz, KITV4 News. Looks like they'll have big business starting yeah. January.